Hey, this is Jeff from Hacker Mercs here to review the Blue Yeti Nano. So the Blue Yeti Nano is the like younger brother to the Blue Yeti. And this one is the red onyx color, which is a color I personally really like. All right, so when we open the box here, other than these papers, there's really only three parts to it. We've got the main mic, which comes with a mic stand. And this thing comes in at about $99, uh, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, you won't find mics that are much better than this for that price range. All right, so the other two things that come with the mic are the USB cable. This does not have an XLR input, so you're really just using that, and the screw. So you can use the screw to adapt it if you have a boom pole or shock mount something of that nature and just start operating. This is a decently long USB cable. All right, so this thing is actually pretty easy to take off of here. You just have to unscrew these screws. It takes a little time, but it's not too difficult. And then once you have both these screws off, it just sort of pops off. On the back here, you actually have two options. You have cardioid and omnidirectional. plug it into my computer and let's check out how it sounds. Okay, so now I'm testing out the levels for the Blue Yeti Nano on Adobe Audition. And as you can see, the levels aren't really getting above minus 15, about six inches away. If you get really close and start eating the mic, the levels will increase, but you get a little bit more of that popping. And at about a foot away, it still picks you up decently. All right, so as you can see, I'm going to start clicking here, and it does pick that up. Also, if you touch this, I notice that you can hear it when you're moving around. And so that can be a little distracting. So you might want to purchase a shock mount as well as a pop filter. But other than that, it seems like a pretty solid recording device.